Onshore wind energy is one of the most popular renewable technologies on our entire planet, but did you know that these wind turbines are getting bigger and bigger every year? Today's wind turbine blades are already longer than two tennis courts, and wind turbine towers are more than twice the height of the Statue of Liberty. Now, China has unveiled the world's largest onshore wind turbine that's capable of powering hundreds of thousands of homes. But how did we get here? And will we go even bigger? Wind turbines are amazing pieces of green technology. As the wind blows, it turns those big blades that look like propellers around a rotor, which in turn then spins a generator that creates electricity. Humanity has been investing in this type of clean energy more and more over the years. In 2023, we hit a record 117 gigawatt installment of global wind power capacity, with 54 countries across every continent building new wind power technologies. The reason for the increase in wind turbine size is simple. The larger the turbine blades, the more energy they can produce. Makes sense, right? At double the length, a blade can catch four times more wind. And on top of that, the higher up these blades go into the sky, the greater their capacity to generate electricity, since wind blows steadier at higher altitudes. The numbers show that since the turn of the millennium, wind turbines have significantly grown in both height and blade length, while also generating more and more electricity. It's not only the turbine towers that are getting taller or the blades that are getting bigger, but obviously also the rotor diameters are increasing in size. The rotor diameter is the area size of the circle swept by the rotating blades. In 2013, the United States had no rotors that were 115 meters in diameter. But 10 years later, the average rotor diameter of new wind turbines was more than 133 meters, which is just slightly shorter than the Great Pyramid of Giza. Of course, this type of technology started off way smaller. The first ever wind turbine to produce more than one megawatt was erected in Vermont in the United States in 1941. It stood just 37 meters tall, with two blades spanning around 20 meters each and a rotor diameter of 53 meters. Between 1941 and 1943, it spun in the wind for about 45 days before it ultimately broke. Now, due to this happening during World War II, repairs were delayed and ultimately abandoned. Still, it was the largest wind turbine at the time and would keep that title until 1979, when NASA, Boeing, and General Electric's 2-megawatt wind turbine started operating in North Carolina. Standing slightly taller than the previous record holder, with longer blades and a bigger rotor diameter, this new wind turbine could reportedly power up to 500 homes, which was massive at the time. A year later, NASA would install three bigger wind turbines in Goldendale, Washington, standing even taller, with two blades sweeping a total area roughly the size of a soccer pitch. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, another NASA model on the island of Oahu in Hawaii would hold the title of the largest single operating wind turbine in the world, which was only slightly bigger than the previous record holder. It was during the 21st century that the increase in turbine sizes really started booming. By 2022, a Danish company called Vestas launched an onshore wind turbine tower stretching up more than twice the height of Big Ben. Its rotor diameter almost matches its height, and yet it's still not the biggest turbine today. But before we continue, we'd really appreciate your feedback in the comments section. Tell us if you'd like to see more videos like this. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more good news updates. Anyways, thanks, and now let's get back to the video. Today, China is leading the way when it comes to the largest wind turbines in the world. The country accounts for 65% of the world's total wind capacity, which is nearly three times that of the United States, which comes in second. One of China's biggest wind turbine manufacturers recently unveiled their new mega turbine blades that are one and a half times bigger than those of the Vestas turbine. These humongous blades can sweep an area of almost 11 American football fields and power 160,000 households. For the next year or so, this new prototype turbine's operation and reliability will be tested in China's Jilin province. Meanwhile, there are even taller wind turbine towers being planned all around the world. For example, Germany is currently building a wind turbine that will reach an insane height of 364 meters, which will make it the tallest turbine in the world, even taller than the Eiffel Tower. So what do you think about these mega turbines? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're interested in learning more about renewable energy, be sure to check out our latest good news video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.